Hello, 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 everyone out there in Terrellin. Hello, how is everyone doing today? This is your girl, Zingaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome to my channel, Seiko Tarot. I'm happy to have you. Thank you for all my returning subscribers. Thank you for viewing me. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you. The channel is building, and you are much appreciated. I appreciate you guys so much. This is a platform we really do need, um, ladies, that we can come and get some healing from and get some empowerment. Look how good I said that word, y'all. <laughs> empowerment um, here. Um, so visit my channel so we can get some healing, ladies, so we can talk some amongst each, amongst each other and see what we can, you know, do to remedy this problem of this world out here. You know, ladies, it's time for us to take our seat, you know what I'm saying, and rule the way that we were meant to be. Okay, all right, guys. Um, today I'm doing a general collective reading for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. <coughs> this is Sagittarius, the wounded warrior. Okay, of course, you guys know that Sagittarius is a fire sign, um, they stand out from the crowd, people, they stand out from the crowd. Uh, they have a, like a go with the flow type of attitude. Um, they are curious. Um, they love to um, to learn and discover. You know, um, they look to find themselves. Uh, they look to find them their own their own uh, place in the world. You know, uh, so they look to discover themselves, you know, and they will uh, go through links to do that. You know what I'm saying? They will look into different cultures, different religions, every everywhere they can find some type of truth, uh, some inner knowing. Um, um, they will do it. They will do it. Um, they're avid researchers and avid discoverers. I love Sagittarius. Uh, actually, that's uh, one of my favorite signs um, that I get along with the most, uh, those in Tauruses. Um, we like a lot of the same things. We're very curious. Um, and we like to look into different uh, ways of living, different aspects of life to get to the truth, you know? Um, and um, Libras and Sagittarius is a, a like that um, in that way, you know, um, they are uh, true to themselves, you know, they are self-involved. And when I mean self-involved, uh, some people may say that it is egotistical. No, it's not egotistical. Uh, they want to know about themselves. They want to discover themselves and their place in this world. So they're getting all the information and learning because... They want to know themselves. You know, there's nothing egotistical about it. I mean, being confident in yourself, um, a lot of people are uh, afraid of that. You know, and they will look at it as negative. But it's not negative uh, when you bring an awareness to yourself. You know, um, I am all my videos saying, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. And Sagittarius is, uh, they are... Um, very keen on going and find themselves, you know, and discovering the truth, you know. Um, if you want to be in a relationship with a Sagittarius and you don't like to go anywhere or stay home or whatever, you might as well don't uh, <laughs> even um, get into a relationship with the Sagittarius because the Sagittarius don't like to stay. They like to grow and expand and you can't learn anything by sticking in, in the house. You know, they like to be out and about to learn things. Um, I want to say the Sagittarius is or sapiosexual. Um, they are turned on by people that are intelligent, just as Libras are. <laughs> you know, I love Sagittarius. You know, uh, Sagittarius is like to be around energies that can enhance them, that they can learn from. Um, they don't like to be around deadheads. They like to have intelligent conversations um, because they're very inquisitive. You know, they want to know. You know, and um, they're going to find out. You know, I love Sagittarius. I really do. Um, um, but uh, Sagittarius, you got to be careful not to hurt people's feelings because people uh, are on such low vibe that they talk about things that are menial to you that don't mean anything because Sagittarius are so deep, you know, um, they go to the deep of, uh, what is the, uh, 
the answer to life. I mean, the question is why. And if you're talking about something surface, like, uh, you see them new jeans out, or you see that new video that Megan and Stallion had out, you know, sad cherries be looking at you like they're crazy. And uh, they will tend to be like, you know, probably say something like, I don't care about that bullshit. You know, you can't be doing that, Sagittarius, because everybody's consciousness is not, uh, have not risen like yours has. You know what I'm saying? So you have to understand that uh, it takes uh, certain people a longer time to catch up and everybody is not caught up. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to deal uh, with people like that on a day to day basis because everybody is not chosen. And it's more people that are deadheads than are conscious. So you have to be aware of that um, Sagittarius and not to just, you know, say what's on your mind. You know, keep it in the bubble over your head. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. All right? <laughs> this is my Sagittarius and I just love them to death. All right? Okay. And of course, you guys, you know, I pull from the goddess energy. Um... I feel we need more uh, feminine energy out here in the world to bring balance, you know. So um, the female energy that I pull from today is Athena. And I want to thank Athena for honoring us with her presence. And thank Athena for supplying us with her energy. Um, Athena is the goddess of wisdom. She's the goddess of wisdom, law, and justice. Um, she's a war goddess. Okay, um, she actually she leads men into battle. You know, she's the first one on the field. She uh, designs what they're gonna do and how they're gonna sneak people and everything. You know what I'm saying? Athena is good at that. Um, <coughs> Athena um, leads with truth and honor. You know, um, the way that she was taught. You know, the way that she was taught by her muse, by her oracle. You know, she leads with all the uh, attributes of that, you know. Um, and that's my girl, Athena. All right. I'm ready to take to war, ready to, you know, go to war. And she leads with honor, dignity, and truth. What she was taught by her muse. Okay. All right. That's Athena. All right. Um, I'm also feeling the energy of Bridget here. Bridget is giving us the energy of inner peace, uh, which is Bridget wants you to be safe because you're surrounded by the sacred fire. And the sacred fire is uh, something that the goddess Bridget's ho Bridget holds. It is uh, a fire she used to put around the nuns, that she puts around the nuns so men won't try to um, come into the, uh, the nunneries and, the, you know, the monasteries and everything and rape the women. You know, uh, the, the nuns were afraid of that. So they used to pray to Bridget for protection. And Bridget used to put a sacred fire around them. And any man that would cross over that flame, they will end up crippled or losing their life. You know, so uh, uh, Bridget is here also. Athena and Bridget is here. Um, Athena has the sacred fire around someone because someone wants to... Um, <laughs> Um, someone is passionate about having sex with someone. Okay, uh, someone is passionate about having sex with, with this feminine. And um, they're even going to the links of may wanting to uh, forcefully uh, force themselves upon this feminine. Um, but uh, Bridget is here to let you know that she's protecting you and the sacred fire is around you. And then if, 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 if this person comes towards you, um, that they're going to lose their life. That she's going to hurt them pretty bad, you know. Um, so you got Athena and um, Bridget here protecting you. And Bridget is wise, giving you wisdom about what's going on. Um, giving you uh, war tactics, you know. And um, Bridget is here to keep you safe to keep you safe from these villainous men okay and the focus today is mystery the focus today is mystery people you know um, it's a mystery to someone how they can grow um, from this incident um, how someone can uh, move forward uh, from a situation 
okay? Um, that's what they want to do. Um, they want to grow. They want to heal something, okay? Someone wants to heal something. Sagittarius, this could be you that wants to heal something, or this is something, someone wants to heal something with you, Sagittarius. And it's a mystery to them how you guys can grow from this situation, okay? All right. I have the boundaries card here. <laughs> you have the boundaries card here, which is number 42, which breaks down to a six, which, which talks about relationships and, and, and past lives, past relationships even. You know, um, the card says, my clear boundaries allow me to protect myself, nurture my intentions, and follow my true self, okay? So, um... You got somebody that has been wounded, um, that has been going through a lot. You have someone here that has gone through a lot, okay? Um, um, from an incident that they've been in, from a situation that they have been in, and uh, they're wounded um, from the situation, and um, they're putting it in the past, and you know... Um, they have grown wise. They have got wisdom from their muse. Um, their muse is someone with dreadlocks. Their muse is someone that's beautiful. Their muse is someone that's an oracle, that is a teacher, that is a counselor, uh, um, that's a healer. Okay? And um, this person uh, went into war to get out of the situation that they have been, have been in because uh, they were listening to their muse. And everything that that muse taught them enhanced them and gave them the strength and the courage to get out of the situation. You know, um, so they use everything that the muse taught them to get out uh, from a bad situation, you know. And now they're wondering, you know, it's a mystery to them how they can go forward in a relationship with someone else that they've always wanted to be with, which is the muse. Um, they're actually in love with their muse. Okay? Um, they were in a relationship that was toxic. Okay? And I don't know if you have a, uh, they have a muse that they have been watching or listening to or reading something, if she's posting something. Um, they've been watching and they've been listening and they have been getting uh, advice from her and um, they have been listening to her advice, you know, and um, the advice that she's given them has given them strength and uh, gave them the strength to go to war against this relationship that they were in, <laughs> to go to war, to get out of this relationship that has wounded them. You know, and now they are wondering, you know, it's, it's a mystery to them how they can uh, move this relationship further, how they can grow this relationship with their muse. Okay, but the divine is telling this muse here of this person to keep your boundaries from this person because this person, something's not right about this person. Okay, this is a person from your past and the past is a past for a reason. Okay. Um, the divine wants you to keep your boundaries boundaries with this particular person. Um, um, some communication is going to be coming in. And um, they want you to, the divine wants you to um, use the power of your voice with this particular person. Um, this particular person has been wounded in the previous relationship that they were in. Okay. So this person is going through some PTSD. So the divine wants you to um, have a more soothing attitude, not a flippant attitude with this particular person because this person is wounded and you don't know what type of bag they're going to come out of, uh, especially when they're being rejected uh, by someone that they really want to be with. So you don't know how this person going to flip out or whatever because they going through PTSD. They're going through something. So this person is, a little, is off balance right now. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why the divine wants you to keep your boundaries from this particular person. Um, let, let this relationship be in the past. But when you tell this person that you are rejecting them, they want you to do it with some compassion. Don't be flippant. Don't be all talking out loud and talking out the side of your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Use your voice. Try to be healing and be compassionate, but express your feelings the way that you truly feel. You know, but do it with some compassion. Okay, you know, and keep your boundaries because this person is, um, you know, this person is uh, psychotic. I'm getting <laughs> a little uh, psychotic right now. Um, their mental is off. They're not thinking straight because they've been wounded in the relationship that they just gotten out of. You know, um, so be easy with this person. Let them down easy. Okay. Let them down easy because this person has been through a lot. Okay? All right. We have the shale and master here. <clears throat> we have the shale and master here. And it says, be graceful in movement and action. Okay? Be graceful in movement and action. Okay, uh, they want you to take a, a gentle approach. Just like I said, uh, keep your boundaries from this person. But uh, take a gentle approach with this person because this person is not uh, doing well mentally right now. Uh, like I said, they're going through some PTSD of what happened in their previous relationship that they just left. Okay, uh, when this card comes up, it teaches you to be subtle, you know. Uh, because when you are too forceful, you can use too much energy, energy that may not be supportive of what you're working on. Okay. A gentle approach will be more fruitful and rewarding. Yeah. Um, you know, keep your dignity, you know, keep your dignity, keep your head, you know, don't flip out, you know, um, just remember that you're majestic. Okay, and uh, carry yourself that way. So be um, be moderate with this particular person, you know. But be stern also. Um, and your no, your nay is your nay, and your yay is your nay, you know. But you don't have to be loud and arrogant and pompous to get your point across. Okay, they're letting you know, divine letting you know that this person is not wrapped too tight. This person has been through something, you know, so just watch how you talk to this person, you know, uh, keep your boundaries from this person. Don't go around this person at all. You know, if you happen to have a conversation with this person, because some communication will be coming in, uh, communicate with this person. Don't stay uh, talking to them too long and um, just give it to them the best way that you can without being brass, you know, and uh, let them down easy. You know, because um, this person is uh, is psychotic right now. All right. So, you know, uh, be graceful in your movement. Be graceful how you move. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. We have be the light here. We have be the light. Okay, you have uh, the number 17 that breaks down to 8, which means power. You have the power. You are power. You're karma walking. That's the Libra energy. And you have the power. The power is within you. Okay, uh, they, the card says when darkness surrounds you, be the light. You know, you are the light. You have the power. You know, uh, you're going through a spiritual initiation. You know, this is happening because you're ready for it. You know, don't let fear or doubt make you uh, distrust the path ahead. You know, don't give in to despair or believe that things will not work out. You know, trust that the universe knows what it's doing. Um, they will come to you in the perfect way at the perfect time. Keep your faith in light. All will be well. Okay? Because you're a divine badass. You know what I'm saying? You're a divine rebel. You know, you rattle uh, cages against, uh, uh, and you rattle cages against negative thought patterns and religions uh, that put you in negative thought patterns. And 
and you set people's minds free. You see the cage on there that it is open right now? This is what this person does. This person is the light. And what they say using their voice, uh, it heals people. And it gets them out of cages and concepts that they in structures that they're, that they're locked into. And she frees the mind. You know what I'm saying? She makes them critical thinkers. You know what I'm saying? And she frees them. You know, lets them out the cage. She is the light. Okay? She is the light. And this is what she does because she's a rebel. She's a divine badass. She is the light. All right? Okay? All right. Looks good to me, you know? Um, got the orange light here that's on because somebody is very emotional. Um, someone, uh, sacred chakra is, is really open there in their emotions. You got the orange owl in the Sagittarius uh, card. You have the orange owl in the boundaries card. You have the child and master that is dressed, draped in orange. And then you have the orange over here in the card, be the light. So somebody is really emotional about this relationship that they want to go forward in. But somebody is also wounded and needs to heal from their previous relationship. You know, um, they've um, been um, listening to this person um, that they want to be with. Uh, they've been inspired by this person. And they've been so much inspired by this person that um, they um, got themselves balanced. And they went into war with whomever they were in the relationship with. I don't know if it was a particular person or a particular friend group or, or whatever. But whatever this muse has been teaching them and it has been inspiring them, um, they got up, uh, made them get up off their ass and do the right thing. And that is to, to leave this toxic environment or relationship or friend group that they had. Okay? All right? Because she's their muse and they just want to get in a relationship with her and move forward and it's a mystery to them how can i move forward you know and you have this feminine that does not want to move forward with this particular person and they have to let this person down easy because this person is a little screwy you know due to uh what has happened in their past relationship you know you need to heal sagittarius or sagittarius someone wants to be with you but you need to heal um, from this particular relationship that you were in before you try to go somewhere else. You're not ready. That's why the divine is, t the divine is telling this particular person to keep their boundaries from you. Okay? And be careful how they handle you because you're, 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 you're explosive. Okay? We have Anna, Grandmother of Jesus here. Okay? We have Anna, the grandmother of Jesus. This is a like seeing the light, land foundations, the divine plan. Okay, you know, Anna, the grandmother, she the, was the grandmother of Jesus, you know, um, ancient, ancient mystic, you know, um, um, who dedicated her life to land foundations uh, for the Christ consciousness, okay? Uh, people, Christ is not a literal uh, God that's in a negligee flying around, you know what I'm saying? Christ is a consciousness, okay? It's levels to this, you know what I'm saying? You have the fifth level of the consciousness, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, you know what I'm saying? There's levels to this, you know what I'm saying? And once you um, reach those upper, upper levels, uh, your mind, body, and soul will be one, okay? Um, and uh, she taught Christ. She taught the Christ consciousness. Okay, um, Anna represents the uh, the quiet dedication that sometimes that's sometimes required to live a life in in service. Okay, so she gave a service to the world. You know, wasn't trying to be famous, wasn't trying to do that. She just felt she did what was right, try to bring people to uh, rise to this certain level of consciousness. And she taught people about this level of consciousness or how to arise to this level, level of consciousness. She was Christ's grandmother. She taught him. Okay? This is a person out here that's a person of service that brings healing and consciousness to the world. You know, um, um, she represents the generations that came before, uh, that devoted their lives to dreaming a new world 
um, into being. You know, um, her being a grandmother, um, she knew that she would not uh, see the glorious result. You know what I'm saying? She represents the dutiful soldier, the unconditional mother, and the mystic. Okay, um, um, regardless of um, this is an elder here, you know, um, and uh, she laid the foundations, you know, for the world to rise to this Christ consciousness. And she knew that she was not going to be around to see it, you know, but she was a soldier to the game. She laid the foundations to teach. Uh, she taught people that taught people that taught people, you know what I'm saying? Um, she started the domino effect. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she got wise counselors underneath her that taught the next generation. And then that generation taught the generation after them. You know what I'm saying? This is Anna Grandmother, a wise woman, a soldier, laying foundations, a mystic. All right? All right. And she did it with the help of her ancestors. I mean, she has help from the subtle realms. You know what I'm saying? She, she's not by herself. You know, the ancestors are right beside her. Okay, all right, that's Anna, the grandmother of Jesus. All right, okay. We have the strength card from the hoodoo deck. I'm going to turn it the right side up so you guys can see it. Okay. You can see the, the woman here. Um, she is um, holding a cougar, which is a mountain lion. Um, which is the original lion, guys, you know, that, that thing they got over in Africa, that's not, that lazy thing they got over in Africa, that's not, um, the lion, um, in the Bible or whatever, you know, um, the lion is here in North America, it's the second largest cat on this earth, you know, um, the lion was, uh, wasn't it, uh, the lion was the king of the forest. Now if I were the king of the forest, they didn't say of the jungle, okay? Okay? It's all about what's over here in North America, guys. What's over in Africa is not us. That is an uh, offshoot. Uh, they took a lot of those animals over there to try to get us to go over there and leave what we have over here. They tried to make us um, a substitute, <laughs> a substitute uh habitation over there in Africa to get us away from our treasures and things over here but we're not from Africa people we are from North America we are the original indigenous people of the North America lands you know what I'm saying we are the Indios we are the true Indians here the melanated people of North America okay and um, the mountain lion in the Native American culture in the indigenous culture um, um, it represents strength, okay? But unfortunately, it came out upside down. So somebody is weak. Somebody has no courage. Somebody has no trust, okay? Somebody has no trust here, all right? Okay. All right, and we have the Nine of Coins, which came out upside down. And when this particular uh, card comes out upside down, uh, it means um, somebody that has a vulgar behavior, uh, someone that loves to keep up with the Joneses, someone um, that uh, <laughs> uh, likes to max out credit cards, somebody that's a shopaholic, somebody that's shallow, you know, that only is only worried about the surface, uh, what kind of car you're driving, what kind of house you're living in, what kind of clothes you got, what kind of chain you got on, you know, a bunch of bullshit that don't mean nothing after you done bought it, you know. Um, these are people that are obsessed with uh, material things uh, and status. These are hustlers because they will go out and they will hustle for these material things. Uh, these people are having financial setbacks. Uh, uh, we have uh, people here that pretend to care about others for financial gain. So somebody is here, um, they're not trusting uh, someone anymore because they found out that the person that they were with only wanted to be with them for financial gain. 
and they gave this person a lot of finances. I mean, this person maxed out their credit cards. They were going shopping all the time. This person has a nasty attitude. You know, um, this person only cares about the material, what kind of car they driving, uh, how they looking. And, you know, this person has no depth about this person. This person is very shallow. So uh, this person, uh, someone has uh, be, uh, became wise about this particular person. And they uh, realized that they couldn't trust this person person no more you know what I'm saying and um, they know that this person only want to be with them for financial gain and they also know that this particular person was over there putting spells on them to keep them in a relationship and this person that was doing some spells they come from a family uh, that traditionally does this all the people in, in um, this person family does this spell work to get people uh, under the spell so they can use them for financial gain so they go out and they hunt people you know and I'm saying that is well to do and they cast spell on them and they use them okay for financial gain you know because it's, that's all they care about these are very shallow people and somebody has become aware and they don't trust this person anymore um, they're actually scared of this person um, because they know uh, what they're capable of doing all right all right you know these people got to stop with the spell work out here i mean it's just crazy i mean you just got to stop you just got to stop you know all right let's see um what divine healing message that this universe has for my sagittarius okay what uh divine healing message that's the universe have for my Sagittarius. Yeah, the Sagittarius, they don't trust um, the person that they were with anymore because they didn't found out. They began wise. They listened to their muse, whomever they were listening to. They listened to them. And uh, they gained clarity about the person that they was, were with and what they were doing to them. You know, and they're happy to be out of the relationship. And, um... They're grateful for their muse that inspired them to do this, that gave them the design of a war tactic to, you know, the design of war to get up out of it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, showed them how to move and uh, get up out the situation, and they're grateful for it. And all they want to do is get with this muse. You know, they done with that relationship, that toxic relationship that they were in, and uh, they're trying to figure out how they can get things to grow with this muse and they want to have sex with this muse but this muse has boundaries um, she's protecting herself from them um, she really don't want to be bothered but she knows this person has been through a lot you know so she's taking it easy with this person uh, she's talking to him because she knows this person needs some healing but she's keeping boundaries and um, she's not going to be in a relationship with this particular person not at all but she's, you know, she's, she's, you know, she's soothing with this person and she's listening to this person. But she's telling this person how she feels with care and compassion, you know. See, that's what you got to do, ladies. You got to give yourself some self-love. Even though you know somebody is hurting, you know what I'm saying, which a lot of us will be like, oh, well, let me just go in because he hurting. But we got to stop freaking doing that because if it's something that uh, you don't want to do, you know, um, don't do it. And that's giving yourself self-love, okay? Um, this particular, uh, I'm feeling this is a masculine, guys. This Sagittarius is a masculine. So this masculine has Sagittarius, uh, um, could be their north node, uh, could be their sun sign, rising sign. Um, they have Sagittarius highly expected in their chart. And um, the person that they were with was a whore. She was a whore. Um, like I said, she only cared about material things. And um, this person is a witch, okay? Uh, which a witch is not a bad thing, but this you have witches of the light, you have witches of the dark. And this particular was one of the dark, and she was uh, putting spells on this person. And now that the, this, this uh, masculine has been listening to his muse and he gained clarity um, on the decisions that they were making, and um, um, they realized what this person was doing, um, 
they broke the spell work them themselves. And the spell work that this feminine has been putting on this masculine is not working anymore. And uh, they're in regret. Because they don't have this masculine under their control anymore. And this masculine knows that they can't trust him. This masculine was married to this person. He's lost a lot of money dealing with this person. You know, um... So, this masculine is taking a spiritual path now. And they're actually praying to the divine um, to bring uh, their muse back to them. Because that's who they want to be with, you know. Um, this person um, is not thinking clearly. This person has, is, 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 is deceptive and manipulative, you know. And uh, they gain, gain clarity about that. You know, this this is a high priestess in reverse um, that comes from a family that does spell work on people. You know, and she wanted to keep this masculine caught up. You know, um, this is somebody from this masculine's past that he went back with um, and got caught up with this particular individual. You know, people need to stop going back, going back to the past. The past is the past for a reason. Um, the King of Pentacles has walked away um, from this relationship. Um, this person has moved away from all the manipulation and the deceit that they were getting from this female. And now this female is obsessed. You know, um, this female is obsessed. Uh, this uh, masculine is wounded um, by this female. Um, uh, this is an emperor. Um, this emperor is a narcissist and they attracted a narcissist just like them. You know, and they don't want to be with this person anymore. They don't want to be with this person anymore. They realize that how they attracted a person like this because they were in this energy, you know. They they got from their muse and they realized that the energy that they emitted out, that they got back, you know. And now they see um, now they see the mistakes that they made and how they ended up with a person like this. Uh, this muse has made them realize that they had wicked ways. You know? You know? Okay. Alright. You know, it's the end of their relationship for this masculine. And they were married to this person. They were married to this person. This is a person that they were married to that only cared about money. Only cared about material things. And um, they did any and everything under the sun to keep this masculine bound to them. But this masculine is broke, has broken free and ended the relationship. Okay, good for you, masculine. Good for you. They're not uh, uh, lovers with this person anymore, <laughs> you know. They thought this person was their twin flame, which they were not. Okay. They were not. This person um, used to go around and sleep with a lot of women, but they've given up their options now. They're not doing that anymore. They want a, uh, a stable relationship, uh, a relationship of reciprocity. Um, you give, I give to you, you give to me. You know, it's a give and take relationship. It's even Steven, and that's what they want now. You know. Okay, let's get this message out here. Let's get this message out here. You know, all the spell games they did on this masculine is not working anymore. Okay. Alright. So this muse, uh, they were just being their authentic self and they healed this masculine. Just by the being their authentic self. And they actually put this masculine on a spiritual path. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we got a hill out here. You know, this masculine didn't want to change. But now, they're changing and realizing the uh, mistakes that they made in life. Realize the bad choices that they that they made. And why their life is the way that they that it is. Uh, this uh, muse has brought some clarity to this masculine. This muse has put a mirror in front of this masculine. And let this masculine see how fucked up they are. You know, and the masculine is looking at the man in the mirror. You know, they're looking at the man in the mirror now, and they seeing um, how fucked up they are. Okay. All right.
trade. They know this woman only wanted to be with them uh, for financial gain, you know. And they just been shopping their little butt off, taking all this polar masculine money to max out the credit cards over there, you know. And they over there spending this masculine money and they got and they vulgar, you know what I'm saying? They can't talk to them right and they staying out all night. They just trifling and nasty, just just an old vulgar person with a bad behavior, you know. Just old spoiled surface person, you know. And this masculine is like <sighs> I'm out. <laughs> I don't blame you, masculine. I don't blame you one bit. I'm surprised you stayed around and put up with it as long as you did. But you were toxic yourself. And, yet, and in this relationship taught you to see yourself. Because you, you married someone and attracted someone that's just like you. You're just like this person. And you don't like it because you and this person don't get along and you see why now you see why this muse probably don't want to be with you okay you see in your wicked ways you're looking at the man in the mirror you're doing shadow work and that's great everybody news needs to do shadow work to see why they act the way they act why they're triggered the way that they triggered and how can they heal that you know this masculine is doing some shadow work and that's great masculine that's great. Um, I send you love and light and strength. Because I know it's hard. I know it's hard. When you've been abused and dogged up, you're giving your heart and somebody just steps on it. You know, it's traumatic. It's traumatic. And uh, I know you're wounded, but you're coming up out of it, okay? All right? This person has made a decision <laughs> not to see this person. Not to talk to this person. They don't care about this person. Or this or this partnership. They done made a decision to just. Be blind to the situation. Okay. Sometimes you got to do that. Alright. Alright guys. Give me a few seconds. Let me get the downloads. Check out the cards. And I will break it down for you. Give me a few seconds guys. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, guys. This a uh, masculine um, that has a Sagittarius uh, highly aspected and destroyed property is a uh, rising sign, sun sign, north node. Um, they gave a commitment to uh, somebody from their past that they went back to. Um, but this person was unbalanced, you know. They left this person in the past because they had problems with this person. Um, this person was uh, manipulative and deceptive in the past. And this person hasn't changed. You know, this person has a mental problem. They are just unbalanced. You know, nothing has changed from them in the past, you know. But they married this person, you know. Um, they tried to pretend that they changed from the past. But as soon as that ring was put on their finger, and as soon as they said them vows to them, the, the true them came out. You know, this person hasn't changed from the past. This person was still manipulative and deceptive and just an evil person. This person is just unbalanced mentally. They have a mental problem. You know what I'm saying? And um, But this uh, masculine went in it uh, wholeheartedly. You know what I'm saying? They married this particular person. Um, they have kids by this particular person. You know, they wanted to spend the rest of them lives, their lives for the, with this person. And they love this person. You know, um, now this masculine is all in their feelings because their marriage didn't work out. Um, they could have two kids by this uh, feminine. Um, but this feminine is um, has a mental problem. Uh, she really has a mental problem. I mean, this is something that she probably takes medication for. You know, and the masculine wasn't aware till now. You know how uh, unbalanced this person was. You know, 
Um, but this ma masculine is, is wounded from this relationship because they put their all into this relationship. And this person hadn't changed. This person hadn't changed. You know, um, they married this person and they're hurt. Because uh, this marriage didn't work out. You know, this... Um, Masculine is all in their feelings because they, they know that this person um, only wanted to be with them for materialism. This uh, person that they were with uh, was only with them, you know, um, to uh, suck on their energy. To suck their energy. Um, this person is an energy vampire. You know? You know, um, this masculine is pissed because they, this, uh, this, uh, feminine, this is a younger girl too. She's much younger than this masculine. They found out that this feminine was putting spells on them to keep them in a relationship so they can keep feeding off their energy. You know, uh, I don't know how the masculine found out, but they found out that this person, uh, put spells on them to keep them in a relationship. You know, but now this masculine is going on the spiritual path. Now they're listening to the divine. You know, and um, by them going on the spiritual path, uh, the spell work has been blocked from this feminine. Um, um, th um, they they doing it too. I mean, they they steadily doing it because they don't want this masculine to leave. They don't want this masculine to leave. They don't want this masculine to move forward because they know this masculine wants to be with this feminine, um, their muse, uh, someone that uh, helped them get out of this terrible situation just by listening to them. You know what I'm saying? They weren't even talking to this person. Uh, she must have a platform or something that they're listening to. Or she's posting things um, on a social media that they're looking at. But whatever she's doing that helped them get get them out of this terrible relationship that they were in, this terrible marriage that they were in. Um, so this masculine, it could be a cancer. They're not moving forward with their wife because their wife is so toxic. She only cares about material things. She only cares about her wigs or her hair or her body or, you know, um, the way things look on, on the outside, you know. So they're not moving forward with her, you know. And they want to be with this muse, but this muse is not... Um, going back um, with this. She's not going to deal with this masculine. She's not going to deal with this masculine. This muse, they look at her as beautiful. Uh, this is a person that's natural. Um, she has natural hair. Um, she's probably a vegetarian. She's eating well. She has a pocket right. You know what I'm saying? Pocket tight. She loves animal animals. She deals with the herbs, you know, um, things of the earth. And all around just groovy gal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all around groovy, groovy gal. You know, um, that's who they want to be with. But this feminine is not uh, going to be with them. Not going to be with them at all. Um, she's going to let them deal with what they have to deal with. And uh, she's going to go on with her life. And she's keeping up boundaries from this particular person. She knows this person is wounded. She knows why this person is wounded. Uh, so she's uh, um, keeping a boundary up with this person. She's talking to this person. But she's letting this person know that it's not going to go any forward romantically in any type of way. She doesn't look at him like that. And she's saying it easy and with compassion because she knows what all this person is going through. Can you imagine what this person is going through? Um, someone is putting spell, spell work on them. This person has even gotten an STD from his wife. Yeah, she's gave, she's gave him an, ED, an uh, a STD, y'all. You know, um, this is the type of feminine that's out all the time in the streets with her friends, partying, you know, leaving the house upside down, the house not stable, the kids not being taken care of, you know, she don't care. She just want to put on her wigs and her little skimpy clothes and go to the club and party. You know what I'm saying? She don't care about what's going on at home. She's uh, really reckless, like she has a vulgar behavior. She sleeps around, you know what I'm saying? She sleeps around so much that she's giving her husband an STD. You know, and the masculine is a uh, consultant, the divine, and they don't want a woman like this anymore. You know what I'm saying? They don't want a woman that's out there in the streets all the time partying with her friends and ain't, ain't taking care of the house. They don't want that no more. Uh, this um, this um, this masculine has grew wise. 
You know what I'm saying? And they're thinking logically now. At first, they wasn't. They weren't. They was uh, being um, guided by sex. You know, they was being guided by sex. And they acknowledge this now, that it was just a sexual relationship with this younger feminine, that it had no depth to it. The kind of woman that they want, she definitely, definitely is not. You know what I'm saying? And um, sad to say that it took for this person to get wounded in an STD um, in order to figure this out. You know what I'm saying? Sad to say that their wife had to be exposed uh, from do uh, by doing, you know, was being, he had to find out that she was doing spell work on him. You know what I'm saying? In order for him to turn over hitting a new leaf you know this uh, masculine attracted exactly the kind of person that he was he attracted to himself he was materialistic you know what I'm saying he only cared about status and and um, um, surface things like cars and clothes and jewelry he cared about that too and he attracted a feminine just like that you know and now He's realizing that this is not what I want. This is what I don't want my life to be. I don't know why I went back with this person. This was somebody that they were with in the past that they walked away from. And then went right back with this person. And this person has not changed. This person is still a liar, a cheater, a manipulator. A, you know what I'm saying? All those things. You know what I'm saying? They just unbalanced. This person has a mental problem. And I'm not just saying it just to be facetious. But this person has a mental problem, guys. You know what I'm saying? And um, that she needs medic medication for, you know. Um, this person has been exposed. And this masculine is not pleased at all. This masculine is not pleased uh, uh, how this marriage has worked out. They said, I pretty had these two kids. They're thinking about taking the kids because she's mentally unbalanced. So the masculine is going to have to take the kids from the wife because she can't take care of them. She's, she's mentally imbalanced, you know. And now that they probably have to take the kids and be a single parent, they're realizing the type of woman that they want now. You know, they want someone that uh, stays at home and not out partying and, you know, bringing some stability and foundation into the home, you know. Uh, someone that's a bonus parent, somebody that's good for for them the, for their kids, you know. Um, um, it's, they don't want just a sexual relationship. Um, they want something deeper. You know, but um, I don't see how this masculine can have a relationship with anybody, being that they have an STD. I mean, um, it's great that this masculine wised up and listened to this muse, uh, the person that they want to be with, someone beautiful and natural and um, eats of the earth, of the vine, you know, take care of themselves, got their money right, they're balanced and everything. Um, um, this is the person that they want to be with now. But it's too late, you know. Now they want to come and apologize for not showing their feelings. They want to come and apologize to this muse. But, you know, she's listening, but she's keeping her boundaries. She don't want to be with this person. She don't, it's not there for she is concerned with this person. But she's trying to let him down easy because she knows that he's been through a lot and He's probably willing, probably ready to just explode, you know, and she don't want to be the person that he's exploding on, you know. Uh, she's not going to be with him. She's not going to be with him at all. This person chose who they wanted to be with. They was like this person, so they drew this person to them, you know. And this uh, muse doesn't want to be with anyone like that. And now they're wise up to, I'm not like that anymore, but you were. During the time that I cared about you. But now that I don't care about you. You're, you're healing. Okay that's fine. But I don't have those feelings for you anymore. This is what she's letting this person know. You know. She's being graceful in her movement and her action. You know what I'm saying. She's letting them down easy. And she's compassionate with this person. Because everybody's been done wrong by somebody. You know what I'm saying. Everybody. You know. And kudos to this uh, masculine for healing. But um. Uh, this relationship that you want, you know, that you're all in your feelings about, um, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Okay? It's not going to happen. 
all right go to the doctor and get yourself checked out i hope that is an std that is curable but if you got somebody out here that's partying all out in the street not taking care of the kids and it's probably not she's a vulgar person she's out here sleeping with everybody you know a younger person you know that he gave a commitment to man I feel for this masculine. Um, you gave your heart to somebody, you know what I'm saying? You planted seeds with her, you got two kids, and it, and it didn't work out. It didn't work out. This person didn't want to change. That's why I never go back to the past, people. You know, been there and done that about the t-shirt. I never go back to the past. You know, um, I just go on by my business and continue on with my life. I never go back because the past is a past for a reason. You learn from the past to go forward in the future. Just a second, guys. Let me get my phone. Sorry, guys. Y'all know every time I sit down here and do a video, somebody calls me. I know y'all watch my videos. Every time I sit down here, somebody calls me, you know. So, um, that's, um not coincidental either uh guys so um this uh feminine is definitely this muse is definitely going to get some communication from this masculine this sagittarius you know about moving forward how they can grow things and move forward in a relationship but this feminine is just going to have to stand strong and stand her ground and um be compassionate with this person um because uh they just was in entangled with a a karmic you know, and that's what karmics are. They're sent here to teach you lessons. You know? Just a minute, guys. Sorry about that, guys. My phone. You know, I give kudos to this Sagittarius, to this masculine. But this masculine going to have to learn that you just don't jump from one relationship to the next. You give yourself time to heal. You're wounded, dear. You can't move forward with somebody and you're wounded. You have to... Heal those wounds for the past in order to move ahead to the future. You know, and that's what you need to do, masculine. Because if you try to get into a relationship with this muse, which she's wise and she knows not to do that, you're just going to bring your baggage from that relationship into this fresh relationship. And that's something that you want to do because it's never going to work. You know, um, I'm glad that you see the choices that you have been making were wrong for your life. You know, but you need to go somewhere and heal. You need to go somewhere and heal. It's great you're getting on your spiritual path. It's great you're seeing what kind of woman that you want now. It's great that you're not just thinking about sex, you know, because that's why you were with this young girl for sex. She was just, you know, just <laughs> doing the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's not all about sex. You know what I'm saying? You don't pick no woman by your loins. You pick what's in your heart, you know, and now you're going to be a single father over there taking care of two kids, you know, because your relationship didn't work, you know. Um, you can get another one, you know. There's a lot of women out here that uh, gives kudos to men that are uh, single parents, you know, because a lot of men would just say, most of the men would just say, fuck it, and um, not deal with the children, you know, but... It's a, that's a manly thing to step up and take care of your kids uh, because your uh, wife has a mental disability. She has a mental problem, you know, and you're the best parent for this particular kid. You know, I hope you don't feel like, uh, I hope you don't feel bad that you're leaving this relationship because she has a mental disability. Don't allow um, that to keep you in the relationship. Okay, because that's no self-love to you because it's obviously you want to be out the relationship. So don't let her mental handicap keep you in this relationship. Don't don't let that make you feel guilty. You know, um, if it's not the best thing for you, give yourself some self-love and leave the relationship. Okay, uh, you didn't do anything wrong in this situation, masculine. You know what I'm saying? You, you got you got with somebody that you fell in love with and you want to give this person a commitment. This was somebody that you was with once before, so you know them well, which you thought you knew them well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, this is somebody that, you know, you thought that you was going to build a family with. You know what I'm saying? You did the right thing to take care of her and take care of the kids, but... You see that, you know, you, you. I mean, that's crazy that she put you under a spell so you can give her that commitment. 
So that whole relationship was built on a faulty foundation. Because you didn't really love her. You thought you loved her. You was under a love spell. Wow. The people out here do some devious things, guys. And she was only with this masculine um, so that he can take care of her. She only had these kids uh, so that she can get a check, y'all. See, this person is mentally disturbed. And this is a young lady. This is a young lady. And then she's a carrier for this STD. I mean, this, this masculine has just been through a lot. Has been through a lot. And you know. Um, I know a lot about that. Because I was with my child's father. For 13 years. And um, he was addicted to heroin. You know. And um, me trying to pull him up out of that. You know what I'm saying? Because we had a son and I wanted to do the right thing and, you know, and he kept on binging and I kept pushing my life back. You know, every time you take two steps forward, you go back three because when people are addicted and have um, a mental disability, you know what I'm saying? They they pull you back, you know, so you you don't you, you, you never can get away from a bundle of blood of water. You, if you do, you just take a few seconds of air and then you pull right back under. So I understand what you went through, masculine. I understand what you went through. You know what I'm saying? I had to take my son and get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sitting over here. I'm making money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I made a decent living. But I was heating up my house with the oven. Why am I in this situation when I know I can do better? I had to realize that it was a codependent relationship. And when you're with someone that has a mental disability, you have a mental disability too. You know, I was with somebody that was uh, codependent on drugs. So that made me, it was like I was on drugs too. You know what I'm saying? Because what it, every time he snorted dope, it affected me. You know what I'm saying? And my son. So I had to walk away. So I totally understand masculine. I totally understand. But you want to try to jump into to with someone that's stable when you're not stable right now. So try to work on getting yourself stable mentally before you try to jump into another relationship. Okay. And not to mention that you need to uh, clear up this STD if you can. You know, hopefully you can. Uh, hopefully it's not terminal. And if it is, you know. That's the towel for your ass. The towel has already hit. You can't have no relationship with nobody because you have a terminal illness. You have to let people know um, that you have a terminal illness. You just can't sleep with people because they could get you. They could put you down for um, uh, prosecute you for attempted murder. If you knowingly know you have an STD that's incurable and you having sex with people. You know, I'm glad that you found your way out, but it's too late. It's too late. You know, it's too late for you to be with this, 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 this feminine here. The one that you've learned from that inspired you to get out this relationship. It's too late for you to be with this person because she's going to keep up boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Because she knows why. And it, it, she just don't feel the same for you anymore. You're a past relationship that she doesn't want to go back to. You know, and you should understand that because you look what's happening to you from the past relationship you went back to. Okay, so we need some healing around here, masculine. You need to give yourself some self-love and the concentration just should be just on you and your children and get some foundation um, um, for your, your children. You know what I'm saying? And don't be trying to go back to this feminine because, you know, she will be a big, a great bonus parent for your children because that's not, that's not, you're using her. See, hurt people hurt people and you're trying to use this feminine now. Because you were with who you were with. You picked who you wanted to be with. You proposed to her. She didn't propose to you. And this feminine, you didn't propose to her. You know. So now she's the better choice. She's more stable. You know what I'm saying. But she wasn't the better choice until you went through your, your turmoil. And your chaos. And that's not right because you're trying to use this feminine. See, you're still not right. You, you still unbalanced. You know what I'm saying? You're suffering for what you went through. And you're trying to use somebody else. Your head is not in the right space to be trying to be with anybody. You need to heal and just work on yourself and work on getting the foundation for you and your children. Okay? All right. You know, I hate that you went through that. You know, but just because you went through it, you don't, don't try to put somebody else through what you went through. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's pull some index cards and see 
what the energy is from these index cards here. You know, uh, ladies, you don't get a pass. Because this uh, woman had uh, somebody that really cared about her. They married her. And they gave her children. And, and they planned a future with her. And it just didn't work out. This person was sleeping around. Partying all the time. Not taking care of the children. Not taking care of the home. This person uh, was the same as they were in the past. They didn't want to change. And this person... Um, has a mental problem that they need to take medication i hope she's taking a medication now but this masculine is going to be a single parent because this uh feminine um that they were married to can't mentally take care of the kids you know what i'm saying something is wrong with her mentally you know so that's a lot you got to work through you got to work through your std masculine you got to work through your mental uh ptsd and um you got something on your hand over here you married her you know what I'm saying? That's the bed you chose. So now you got to lay in it. So don't try to make your life easier by getting with this uh, stable feminine because that's unfair to her. And uh, she knows it. That's why she's keeping up her boundaries. And she don't even have those feelings for you anymore. She don't have those feelings for you anymore. Okay? You know? And she probably was the last decent thing in your life. That's why you're attached to her. That's why you want to attach your energy to her because she was pure and loving and nurturing. And that's what you need right now because you weren't getting no emotional fulfillment in that relationship that you were in. You know, all you was doing was spending money because that's all this person wanted you for. She didn't love you. She just married you for money. And you don't love her. You know what I'm saying? You was under a spell. And now you know it. I mean, that's a lot you got to go through masculine. And that's a lot that you got to heal from. So give yourself time to heal before you try to jump out there in another relationship. Because it's unfair to you. Because you can't uh, be the, at your top uh, capability in the relationship. And that's unfair to the person. Because you're bringing uh, baggage into the relationship. Okay? All right. Yeah. Masculine, don't trust this person no more, and I and I don't blame you. But uh, you can't um, intrude on somebody else's life because you feel they will make your life better. So don't try to make your life better by making somebody else's life miserable. You know, and that's what this uh, feminine did to you. Your wife did to you. She made your life miserable just to make hers better, and you're trying to do the same thing to this uh, nine of pentacles, and that's not right. You know, and she knows you're not right upstairs. You know, that's why she's keeping her boundaries. And she's handling you with compassion. Uh, you know, she knows it. You know, this is a, a divine feminine. She knows it. And um, she just not going to let you in her life. Okay? All right? You need a lot to clean up. A relationship is the last thing that you should be worried about. Masculine. Okay? It's the last thing. All right. Okay. Yeah. What you need to do, uh, masculine, now you need to focus on your mate. You need to focus on your mate right now because she, you, you, you know that she has a mental disability, you know, and she needs help. I don't know if you're going to uh, have her committed or uh, get her some counseling, make sure she's on her meds or whatever. Um, y'all got a lot to do because y'all got two little ones that y'all need to take care of. And y'all need to come to some decisions. Y'all need to sit down and talk. You know what I'm saying? Or you just need to sit down and figure, figure out what you're going to do because <clears throat> she's not mentally capable to do anything. So you need to focus on her right now because she's still over there trying to do spell work. Sorry, because she you're going on your spiritual path now, and uh, she can't stand it. Um, she can't stand that you're not sexually motivated anymore. She can't stand it. So you need to watch what she's doing and uh, see what's going on with your family. You know what I'm saying? For your children. And uh, quit trying to be in another relationship and focus on the mate that you have. You know, you are married. Okay? Focus on that mate. You know what I'm saying? Before... You try to, you know, get into something else. You know what I'm saying? Top your loose ends. You know what I'm saying? Heal yourself. But you need to get her some healing. Okay? Try to get her uh, to get balanced because, you know, uh, regardless what type of person that she is, you know what I'm saying? Her kids need her. Her children need her. 
you know. And uh, if she doesn't want to heal, then you need to just get away from this particular person. You know what I'm saying? And you need to figure out how you're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? So you need to focus on your mate and try to, instead of trying to worry about somebody else right now. This is not the time for that. Okay? Okay. Abundance. This uh, feminine that you want to be with, this muse, she's coming into abundance, you know. She's got a lot going on, you know what I'm saying. She's a, she's a, um, she's the light. So she's uh, bringing people out of negative mindsets, uh, negative patterns, you know. She's releasing them out the cage. She's uh, uh, bringing people to higher consciousness. You know what I'm saying? And um, this is her north node um, that is bringing her uh, abundance. So she has a lot to deal with now. Uh, she's been on her spiritual path. And for her to deal with what you got going on in her life, it, it doesn't fit in her life right now. Uh, she doesn't have chaos and turmoil and, you know, uh, things going on in her life. Her life is balanced and easy breezy. You know what I'm saying? Because she's on a spiritual path and in her north node. Uh, she's coming into abundance. So she got money to spend and things to do. She don't have time to be dealing with what you're dealing with masculine. Okay? Yeah, I don't know. Two different uh, cycles of life. And it's not meeting up. Okay? It's not meeting up. Y'all on two different paths. So you need to deal with your path and she's dealing with hers. You know, your path, you need to deal with your mate and your children. And her path is, 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 headed, is headed toward abundance if she's not already in it. Okay? All right? All right. Yeah. She's out here looking good and smelling good. And you're attracted to her. Of course. You know, she's a divine feminine. Everybody's attracted to a divine feminine. You know what I'm saying? But uh, she's headed in a whole different direction than you are. And you don't fit in her life now. And she doesn't fit in yours. Okay? All right? It's like apples and oranges. You know, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to, you know. So, um heal yourself masculine because this ma this feminine is going on her own path you know what I'm saying she can't do nothing for you now you know your lives are not connected you know uh, do the best you can with your life because she's doing the best that she can with hers and she's looking good and smelling good and going on abundance having abundance you know what I'm saying she won't she went on the right path and unfortunately you went on the wrong path you went on the past the path of lust and sex and she went on the spiritual path. All right? And she looking good and smelling good. But hey, it is what it is. I mean, she's taking care of her body. You know what I'm saying? She's a vegan or vegetarian. You know what I'm saying? She loves the earth. She loves the animals. She probably has a garden, um, herbs, and, you know, um, yeah. And, you know, her whole mindset is different from yours, sweetheart. You still have a negative mindset because you even want to use this muse because you think that she will be a great bonus parent. You think that she will be great to help you raise your kids. You you think that she will be great because she don't party out in the clubs and wear a little skimpy shit and she's going to cook and take care of the house. That's I don't see no love here. I don't see you loving her. You know, she's good for your life, but you're not good for hers. But you're even willing to screw up her life uh, so that she could be... Make your life better. That's not right, masculine. That's not right. That's not right. You need to heal. You haven't healed. You haven't healed. You know? This, this, this feminine is vibing high. Your frequency is not matching her frequency. Your frequency is so low and she's so high that you can't even reach her. You know, there's not an attraction at all. She's attracted people with like minds like her. Your mind is not like hers. You got a lot on your plate, masculine, that you need to handle. You know? And if you're truly on your spiritual path, you would know that you trying to be with this muse of yours, the one that inspired you, is wrong. Especially right now, is wrong. Okay? It's wrong, masculine. You got other things that you need to take care of. You know? Alright? She's vibing too high for you, sweetheart. You know, I mean, oh my goodness, you just think she's so attractive. You like hips and thighs. Oh my. 
Stay focused. You know what I'm saying? She looking good, smelling good, ass popping, thighs looking good. You know, that's how it is when you got your mind, body, spirit in balance. So masculine, go try and get yours that way. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't match. You know what I'm saying? It don't match. You and her don't match. You know? So heal yourself and try it again next lifetime. Or you may be can find you someone, you know what I'm saying, this lifetime, you know, but it's not going to happen with this feminine, okay? It's not going to happen, you know, but stay strong, masculine, you know, and there's no way that uh, there's going to be any growth um, in this relationship with this muse, okay? Focus on your mate, focus on your wife, because she's lost her mind over there, and she's not able to take care of her children, and you need to get her some help so that these kids can have a mother, Okay, quit trying to replace the real mother with the new mother you want to be because you married her, so you need to deal with her. Okay, all right, this is what I have for my Sagittarius, guys. Okay, uh, we not only have women out here giving themselves self love, but we have a masculine out here that's giving themselves self love, you know, and they decided to leave a relationship uh, that wasn't feasible for them, and all because they love themselves, and they're getting themselves and their, and their kids out of a, a terrible situation, you know, and um, I send this masculine love and light, okay, I send this masculine love and light, all right, if you feel anyone, um, to benefit from this video, please send it to them. Please send it to them. Okay? Because it's not only ladies that need healing out here. Um, and um, self-love. But these masculines need it also. You know, uh, a lot of masculines, uh, old school, they feel they have to stay in a relationship because that's what they were taught, that they're supposed to take care of the woman and the children. But if the woman is not acting right in relationships, leave her ass. She's not taking care of the kids. She's not taking care of you. She's not taking care of the house. She's not cooking. She's not cleaning. She's partying, doing drugs, drinking all the time. She's not ready for a relationship. She's not married for, ready for a marriage. You know, married women don't act like that. That's a Jezebel spirit. And plus, she gave you an STD also. You know, walk away from this person. Love yourself and walk away. And that's what this masculine has done. But this masculine is not healed because they're trying to intrude on somebody else's life because that person will make their life better. But that masculine being in this feminine life will make her life worse. And they need to understand that. Okay? All right. All right, guys. This is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Okay, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. All right, and thanks to all my new subscribers, and tell a friend, and tell a friend, and tell a friend. All right, okay, and as I always end, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. I love you all. Until next video, bye-bye.